What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another episode of the Draft 2 Glory. EA have released Team of the Group Stage, which means Team of the Group Stages are in draft. Let's take the 4-3-1-2, there's mostly central players. Um, guys, if you're enjoying the Draft of Glory, if you're enjoying the content in general, and you wouldn't mind putting a thumbs up on the video, it would be much appreciated. And if you just love draft a lot, and you want more Draft to Glory, including themed drafts, I have a, the YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Draft to Glory, where you will find drafts every day this month at 9 p.m. Link will be down below. Uh, go check it out and get involved. Or, 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 or don't, but do. Or don't. Um, there's been some cool themes on there so far this week. Come on here. Just, oh, let's go! Team of the group stage, Marcus Rashford. Yes, please. Yeah, Dead Eye Chem Style too. He is going to be a menace. And we've got Paul Pogs in there as well. Now, Bruno Fernandes has a team of the group stage card. But I can't not go for that Man United trio, can I? It's just... Uh, it's it's what we like to call in the industry... Très bien. <laughs> um, let's, take, uh, let's take James Ward-Prowse for those free kicks. Also strong link him to Marcus Rashford. Let's go. KDB as well. Come on, man. Let's go. That's massive. That's absolutely massive. We've got two huge, huge players. Oh, my God. Are we building like a full Man United squad? What is going on? What is happening? Don't give me Harry Maguire, though, please. Romagnoli in form is there. He is a good card. I'm going to have to go with Fernandinho. Absolutely going to have to go with Fernandinho. What? This, I mean, t already two of these cards is nice, man. Okay, did give me Harry Maguire. I'm going to take him. No, I'm going to take Rudiger. I can't not. Rudiger's... My, my centre-backs are a bit of a problem. And Bolo needs to go low. That rhymed. Um, Semedo needs to stay, though. That didn't rhyme. Uh, Rudiger and Fernandinho are downsides to this team so far. James Ward-Prowse also, and Mbolo. Ooh, otherwise, this is a monster squad. We'll have to put Gaeta into the goal. So it's a one eight five off the bat. Man, this 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 KDB. This is an insane card. KDB and Marcus Rashford so far with some to go. We take Edison. Manuel Neuer is brilliant, but we'll take Edison. Obviously, way better than Gaeta. Come on here, let's hook it up. I have to take target. Everybody's on 10 chem except Mbolo. Everybody's on 10 chem. This is a solid, solid draft. Just a Premier League striker, and we're good. Alfonso Davies is nice. Ooh. Who have I got? Ooh. Do we take Bella in? Play him at right back, play Semedo at centre back and get Fernandinho out? Or do we take Alfonso Davies and sub him in? Or possibly start him if we get a Bundesliga player for that left hand side? Let's take Alfonso Davies. I think he'd just be better as a sub in the first place. Now, again, the question is do we take Mason Mount? <laughs> And start him over James Ward-Prowse. He's not like wildly better, but he's a bit better. Do we take Tyson and have him as a super sub instead of Mbolo? Or do we take Sané and actually start Sané at left centre mid? Davies at left back. Put Rudiger at left centre back. Get rid of James Ward-Prowse. And then Mbolo will get 7 chem and Sané will get 10 chem. That's what we've got to do. That's actually a solid little setup. Tellers can go in at centre back. Alfonso Davies goes in there. That is a solid little set setup, that is. Rudiger goes over there. Paul Pogba goes in the middle there. Now we lose a little bit of chemistry on Rudiger. Not ideal, is it, really? Sané on six. Tellez on six. Rudiger on seven. And Bolo on seven. I think, in general, the team is way better like this. And then we can still make that sub and get Mbolo off. Or whom? Ooh. Maybe we could bring Erdegaard into the midfield with the five-star skills off the bench. Or maybe we could bring Bamba up front off the bench. 
No, we're gonna we're gonna take eighty five Odegaard there. So what we'll do at the moment, I'm gonna put Sané up front and Odegaard into the midfield. The rest of the team will remain the same pretty much. We don't get anything good there. Iose Perez, the highest rated. Come on, let's get another one of these team in the group stage cards. Oh, Marcos Lorente. Now, we could bring Marcus Lorente into the midfield. Way better than Odegaard. Way better than Odegaard. That's a good card as well. We've got two, two decent subs on the bench. Oh, here we go. Oh, see how... I would want the team of the group stage Messi. I don't want to take this Messi. I could take Fabinho. It would give us some chemistry, but then I'd have to lose Sané. Sub Sané on, which isn't the end of the world, which means we'd lose Alfonso Davies, which I don't want to do, unless we take Patrick Van Arnholt. And then, so, yeah, maybe we'll do that. Let's take Van Arnholt because he is, he is quality anyway. Let's pop uh, James Ward Prowse back into the team. And let's actually, uh, let's pop up there. We're a little off chem. We're going to sub on. Who are we going to sub on? We're going to sub on Sané up front and Lorente in the midfield currently. So Lorente for James Ward Prowse, Sané for Perez. Four picks to go. Let's get a big one. What do we do with that? We can take Furlan Mendy, but then we have a fourth left back. We don't need Furlan Mendy. Or we could take Kante and just start him, and that's what we're going to do. Uh, that shouldn't really have needed much thought at all. Kante with De Bruyne and Pogba outside him. Bruno in there. And do you know what? I do want Bruno in at... Uh, we'll, we'll switch around... Uh, Bruno and De Bruyne and hopefully get the Premier League manager. So now it's just the, the striker that needs to go. So we'll now have Alfonso Davies if we need to defensively. Although our back line is solid as right now. Um, Marcus Lorente if we need to again. We don't need him anymore. Sané instead of Perez is about the only change that we kind of need to make at this point in time. Our next pick is going to be... Nothing of any note. Nothing of any use. Two more to go. Oh, Pavel Nedved. We'll take him. Is this is this the one with five star weak foot? Yeah, four star, five star for Nedved. If I can get the right manager item and can start somebody up front on four and just get them those base chem stats, I'd actually start with Nedved. Let's see what the manager comes in at. The rest of this just doesn't make any difference. Right. So if we can get a check manager. Or Premier League. Oh, perfect. Literally perfect. But now I believe, especially when I switch around De Bruyne and Bruno Fernandes to get that 100 chem. Oh, sorry, uh, 99 chem. Can we get 100 chem with this team? I mean, I can get 100 chem. It's just... Nedved should have, yeah, base stats. I'm all right to play him on base stats. Because even if we even if we started somebody else and subbed on Nedved, he doesn't get much more out of it. That is a very, very, very good draft. We've got some very good players on the bench. We've got an absolutely mental starting lineup. Only a 186. But this is a strong draft. Let's get in to the action. All right, guys. Into round one of game one we go. Or game one, round one, round one, game one. 75 chem, Dembele, Salah, Ronaldo, Royce. Um, is that Lema? Tyson, Desai, Tellez, Joe Gomez, Trent, and Leno in goal. You would think he just wouldn't start. That's a weird way to start a team. But hey, if it, it works, it works. It's not like we've got the, the most... Incredible team in the way it starts, is it? So his his players have really low chem. It's through to Nedved, and then to Rashford, and then Mo here we go, Rashford. Pen ref, pen ref. 
Let's go. Let's go. All right. Who do we want to give it to? Let's give it to KDB, baby. I miss so many pens, man. It's crazy. I, I literally just missed so many penalties. But this time, Rashford. There we go. It took me three bites at the cherry. But we finally popped it in the back of the net. Oh, this guy's doing skill move cancels. What the hell? Come on, Rashford. Bangs it. Let's go, baby. 2-0. Come on. Brunel's 99 pens. The, guy, the keeper would have still saved it. He dived the right way. Could have one pen. Could have a million pens, mate. Still would have saved it. That's Penrith. Let's go. Oh, we are cruising now. You're going to make 100% of penalties if you're someone nine pens. Just aim at the top corner and barely tap shoot and it'll go in every time. Oh, really? All right, aim at the top corner, barely tap shoot. It'll go in every time. Hey, it did go in. You're not wrong, pal. You're not wrong. That flew in. To be fair, the keeper dived the wrong way. So even if they had one penalties, it would have gone in. But you aren't wrong. When you're right, pal, you are right. Rooney with the corner. Rudiger with the header. Boom. Oh, KDB. I know Rudiger scored the header there, but KDB, does he have corner specialist this year? I know he did last year. Oh. He might be worth putting in the team, you know what I mean? Come on, Rashford, pal. Woo! Hoo -hoo. Marcus Rashford, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Um... Listen, man, if you want to wait, wait. If you want him, want him. It, it, at the end of the day, it is just a game, isn't it? It is not, it's not for serious. You know what I'm saying? KDB. Oh, what a save that is from Leno. His power, I guess. Didn't, didn't pass that. That was a shot. Never mind. Nedved Golasso, oh, it's six. Oh, Pavel. Oh, it's lovely. Things you love to see. Boom. Eight nil in the 79th minute. People try people try and tell me this game's not rigged. KDB, baby. Nine nil in the ninetieth minute. People try and tell me this game's not rigged. Oh, this game's rigged as hell. GG's. 9-0 in game one. Things you love to see. Fair to say that was a very comfortable victory. I don't I don't know if my opponent... I think he had one shot. I think Edison made one save. Two saves. One from the corner. And just one in general. I mean... How it was only nine, I don't know. However, I'll see you guys in round two. All right, here we go. To game number two. Let's see what we're up against this time. Four triple two. Hit C11. Martial, Werner, Baggio, De Bruyne. No, not De Bruyne. Uh, Bruno. Kante, Fabinho, Varane. Uh, can't remember that guy's name. Left back. Long leg. Carl Walker. Noble. That's a big game, that is. That's a big team. Rashford. Come on, Rashford. Love it, baby. Love it. Let's go. Love it. Is Rashford showing up, man. Last game, he missed... First couple of chances he missed, and then after that, he was Gucci, man. That's tough, man. That's tough. He, 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 doesn't, he just doesn't deserve that. We read the play really well with Baggio there. Intercept it really well. The ball just drops straight back to him for that perfect cross. Let's go, Rashford. Come on. Rashford again coming up clutch for us, boys. There it is. Alfonso, baby. Let's go. Come on. Oh. oh. Oh, have we not scored there? All right. That is genuinely an unbelievably jammy goal. But I don't know how I didn't score beforehand. All right, GG's boys. That is us through the semi-final. Through to the semi-final, I beg your pardon. Um, a nice, nice, comfortable win. Rashford with two more. Pogba and Davies with the goals. 
Bruyne, Fernandez, and Pogba with the assists. And uh, yeah, a really, really nice win. Nice 4-1 four, four, win there. Comfortable win there as well. 66% possession, 16 shots, 11 on target. Dominated the game. I'll see you guys in the semi-final. And here we go, guys, into the semi-final. Can we get a win into the final? We are up against Dr. Medden Reseno. He's got a nice team. Ronaldo and uh, Martinez, Gomez, the, the Man United boys in midfield with Milinkovic Savic. He's got the brand new Trent Alexander-Arnold, Van Dijk, Gomez. That's a nice team. It's a nice formation as well. Let's see what we can do, boys. Let's see what we can do. Oh, Rashford, stick a leg out there. Where's this new interception logic, EA? Man, he moved his keeper so much. I should have shot straight away. He moved his keeper so much there. He is an inch away from giving me a penalty there. Oh, Pogba, please. He's an inch, literally a, a centimetre away from giving me a pen. Rashford, please. Stick a leg out, pal. Oh, stick a leg out, lads. One of you, please. I don't understand how I'm 2 0 down, honestly. This guy's controlling the game. He's controlling possession. He's got constant pressure on as well. Hopefully, that'll pay for us in the second half. So it's tough, man. It's tough. It, it, this guy's a good player. It is, it is a good player. But constant pressure is just screwing me over completely. Yeah, that'd be game over now, unfortunately. We're not going to come back from this one. Ah. Wow. My keeper's not saving anything this game either, unfortunately. Yeah, that's too bad. This guy's just outplayed me here. Oh, my good Lord. Oh, my good Lord. How on earth have I not scored there? Oh, come on. Man, Pogba at 0-0. Pogba missed that open goal as well. Oh, that could have been such a different game. Oh, I'm like an inch away of everything. This guy's like... Just, just getting past absolutely everything every time. That's a nice finish. Wow, we actually got a goal back. There we go, 6-1. I mean, it would not have made a single shred of difference had I scored there or not. But I don't know how I didn't score there. All right, there you go, guys. We're losing the semi-finals today. I mean, GG to that guy. <laughs> Frustrating game. He'd, he'd, pro he'd probably deserve the win. I I'm, not, I'm not saying he didn't deserve the win. Just one of those games, man, where everything went in his favour and, and nothing went in my favour. Edison with the four saves is Allison with five. That was just a tough one. I mean, he had a bit more possession than me, but for chances, very even. And my chances were good. I don't know how I missed some of them. Paul Pogba, it won't have it in the highlights, but Paul Pogba missed an absolute sitter. Um, And uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, here, here's the first goal here. I don't know. That's bad. It's, it's that press, man. It's that press. And it, this, this is the way it was the whole game. Constant pressure the whole game. And I I don't feel like he got punished for it. I, don't, I feel like he, you know, his t player's stamina was still so high. Uh, and then Milinkovic Savic here with this goal. I think this is just a chip in, isn't it? Oh, no, that's a good tackle there. And then that one in. Um, but either way, goal, whatever, however the goals went in, it doesn't make any difference. Fair, fair enough. You know, I'm very sad to have conceded six goals there and in that fashion. But with regards to the rewards... Whatever we get here, we should be making good profit because there is that the market in general is really high for common golds and for like certain packs and stuff. So once again, we get a seven and a half K and a 15 K pack. Um, yeah, for certain players, the market's real high for like AC Milan players, Man United players, Real Madrid players and PSG players. They're really high uh, just for major league common golds in general. They're really high. So it's not going to take much for us to get our coins back out of this one. Um, we end up getting some stuff there. Sending it to CDM is pretty good. Maybe like 1,200 coins for that. Um, not so bad. We'll get rid of that and that. See, Pavoletti should be all right. 
And maybe he's not going for 300 on bid, but there's nothing under 1,000 bin. So we'll list him up for like 950 there. We get Kenny on the right back slot there. Maybe like 800 coins on him as well. Um, and then the AC Milan player. And how about that? So we actually get a player that's worth about 3k, it looks like by now. AC Milan players have obviously come down a bit, but that is a huge bonus for us. Um, it's only the goalkeeper, which is a bit sad. And then Moses isn't selling. Uh, so that's a good start. A couple of good players in there for sure. And then a jumbo premium goal pack. Let's see what we get out of that one. Can we get anything of any good? No, it is a rare goal player. Not a walkout. It's not a board. We just need it to be a uh, a, a good major league player again. Would be quite nice. Oh, this guy will be selling. Yeah, he's like two, maybe two and a half K. Uh, which is quite nice. List him up. You can see my trade pile out there. Um, who else have we got? This guy might be all right as well. Kabak. Uh, maybe not. I'll actually keep him for the uh, for the objective. Bartra should be good. Yeah, 1.3k on bid, maybe 2k for him. So that's not bad. So there, there's lots of good profit out of this. Luki Bakio, wow, 1,800 coin bid on him. So we're going to make some really, really clean profit out of this. Daniel Carrico here, maybe 1,000 coins. He had a 600 somewhat bid on him there. Hugo Rodaiga, I'm not interested in. Left mid to left wing is quite nice. They're still up over 2,000 coins. So there you go, guys. I mean, once again... Even if you can only get to the second or third round, it's clearly worth it still. You know, it's clearly worth it. Um, we're going to make some really nice profit off of this draft. Um, and we, are, we we only got to the semi-final, so not bad at all there, guys. Uh, but that is going to be the end of the video for today. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rate, and comment. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.